Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. Now, this is using our craft treat boxes again, which have got the cutout window and the little bit of acetate. And I used these ooh, probably about a month ago, although I did, I wrapped it and covered, <laughs> covered the window. But so many of you said, oh, I missed those in the catalogue. What a great project. They're great sizes. I'm going to order those. Loads of you have. So I thought... Let's show you another way to use them. Um, again, without showing off what's inside because you know, surprises. And I just went for the gingerbread and spice this time around. So I've got the frosted gingerbread stamp set, gingerbread dies, a sheet of our paper, and of course, these. So they are simple to use. I would say learn from my mistakes and do burnish your score lines is they're all pre-scored the windows are in there even the glue has been attached but the very first one i made i didn't score it and then regretted it so do take a moment to score first okay It's worth the time to do this and it's easy you could sit watching you could buy a whole host of these if you were doing biscuits or something like that as a, a gift or something you could yeah just spend an evening burnishing I've lost my ruler my cat sat on the desk and she probably sat on it so I'll move you bum where is my ruler because I kind of need to measure the inside oh it's in front of me I, I'm sorry Sorrel I blamed you completely now my piece of paper that I want to go inside don't just go and measure the outside because you know you're going to waste paper I am going to measure where the glue is and then I know that I've got plenty of space so I'm going 12 centimeters by nine which in inches is four and a half by three and three quarters so 12 centimeters by nine and obviously I want my pattern that way around Oh, she's oh she's flopped on the side. she's flopped on my worktop next to me. It's a little bit warm here. That's really helpful, Sorrel. And then that, because I've gone over where the glue is, it's going to fit perfectly behind. And plenty of paper left. So, okay, where's my? There it is. Mm, no, maybe that's not a good idea to use that glue. Okay, I'm going to run glue here. <laughs> I was just thinking, liquid glue against um, acetate. Yeah, not, not so much the great idea because that just is never going to dry. And then last little bit along there. <laughs> now the backing doesn't want to come off there we go oh sorry <laughs> I just put it on the cat oh just turned four Sorrel and Berry um have just turned four they're not sisters or anything well not from not from the same mum of course one is a Bengal and one is a Savannah um oh okay let me make sure I get this the right way around like that um, but yeah, they just happened to, their birthdays are very close together. Look at that, how cute. Um, one's at the end of August and the other one is right at the start of September. So they are four and they are grumpy old ladies with our seven month old Siamese kitten who just wants to play. And they're like, no, we've done that, over that now. So she's clearly come to get out of the way. Seriously, look, she's just lying next to me. Okay, this is my top. So this part is my base. So I'm going to fold in those bits first to make my base. And then these to become the lid. Okay, and... Yes, it gapes like any other box, but let's glamorise it with this beautiful 
oh new ribbon so this is called shimmer ribbon and it's it's the name is gold or gold <laughs> you see that that's funny right so i'm going to want quite a bit because i want to get this positioned roughly over here And I'm going to reposition it shortly. I just want to get the ribbon on and round at this stage. I'm not too worried about where the bow is sitting on the box, just as long as it's on the box. And yeah, I cut off way too much ribbon, but that's okay. I wanted quite a long tail, maybe just not <laughs> as long as I've left oops oh well so then you just so that's clearly in the wrong position compared to this one you just literally wiggle and then you move a little bit and then you wiggle a bit more move a bit more and you can wiggle it fully into the position you want clever huh wiggly ribbon we like that okay so i've got over here um a scrap of whisper white it's not exactly a scrap but i've got my stamp set and this one said wishing you a merry christmas but i like this one sending you peppermint kisses so i'm going to try that one today and i want to measure it up first i did this in my project the other day how to measure up so you literally just line it up on your grid paper or something with something with a ruler i want to cover it a little bit so i'm going to make it two and a quarter by one and a quarter inches which in metric is we'll make that um five and a half by three centimeters yeah that fits on and then some this one i've gone for um soft suede slight confession it's because i haven't got any um early espresso scraps and even i'm not <laughs> i can't bring myself to go straight into a piece of a4 just for a tiny little scrap so <laughs> i'm not going to so there we go that borders round that and then I'm going to hang on to these because I'm going to die cut with them but let's get this stamped and oh just managed to throw that I'm going to get my markers so I want my real red and I'm going to bring in soft suede and I'm going to make my peppermint word red actually you know what i've not inked not stamped this so i'm just going to put that into my stamping scrub to get on just to rub off the newness and oh. and that was with the side of my brush the side of the brush tip of my pen rather So I'm not going straight on, I'm just going sideways and stroking over the letters. Then I'm going to breathe on it. I'm not a loud huffer, but I'm just going to breathe on it to re-moisten it. And sending you peppermint kisses. How fabulous is that, that you get two colours? Oh, I love our markers. And then I'm just hack a little chunk of that off have another chunk of that because you know <sighs> butcher everything little mini stamping cut and emboss plate number one a clear plate and where the dies so i want a solid one. Ooh, shall i do a different image this time 
Ooh, what have I got? I've got bells. Should I do the bells? Yeah. So you get a solid and an um, a solid outline, and then you get a patterned inside for four shapes. So star, snowflake, uh, bauble, and bell. So your outline is the the solid image is your darker colour. Um, just grab a bit of washi because I cut that typically just about perfect in size, but potentially too small. And then your detailed one onto the white. Then a cutting plate over the top. didn't de-stickify my um, washi, did I? So I'm going to grab those two and put them back because they're small and I don't want to lose them. Because nobody likes a lost die. And with this, if you are good with the fine tip glue thing, which I am not, but if you are, just pop little bits of glue around. But if you're like me and a bit hopeless, um, mini glue dots and what you can do is you can this is where I unrolled them before you can pick up a glue dot and then turn it into a tiny little ball on the tip and then that will tuck away pretty much invisibly if you find the right place so I've got a nice big area there and the, I say big I'm big <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say there's an area that's that's large enough to hide a mini glue dot And that will just sit over the top of that. And we can start putting everything together. This is not, not helpful having a cat next to me. But at least she's not on camera. So sending you peppermint kisses and I want to position it so that the bell will go on and not stick off the side of the box and that I think is really rather lovely. I hope you like it too. I hope it shows you another way to use those lovely gift boxes, again, without giving away what's inside. And yeah, I really like them. They're very sturdy. Great boxes. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And Sorrel, who's now got a foot on. Oh, she's just off camera still. She's still here. There's a tail. <laughs> we hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.